Look at you, hacker. A p- p- pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you r- run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess destined to inherit the earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems, nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNN Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek. Fast. Revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The grab shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the grab shafts. Step into the grav shafts to proceed to the street level recruitment.
Before you choose your career, you'll want to learn some basic abilities. First, you should go into the basic training center. When you're done with basic training, proceed to the advanced training area. To pick up some basic skills you'll need to get by in the service, enter this CyberLink booth. Inside, you'll learn the basic skills you'll need to get started. Welcome, trainee. While you're in our virtual training courses, we provide you with a simulated cyber interface. This training interface is identical to an actual military-grade cyber interface. Now, let's try it out. Move the mouse. See how it changes where you look? That means you're in shoot mode. Hit the tab key. This puts you in use mode, where you can use your mouse to interact with items in the world. Open your primary MFD, or multifunction display, by clicking on the MFD button near the bottom of the screen. This display shows your strengths in various areas. When you're ready to continue, press the tab key to go back to shoot mode. Try changing between modes until you get the hang of it. Follow the red path along the ground, to the next train station. To pick up items, center them on your screen and right-click. This will automatically place that item into your inventory. To view your inventory, press the Tab key. To use items like buttons in computers, center them in your view and click the right mouse button. All usable items will have brackets around them. Highlight the button on the pillar and right-click. This will to pick up items, center them on your screen, and right-click. This will automatically place that item into your inventory. To view your inventory, press the Tab key. You can move items around your inventory. To use items like buttons and computers, center... The object before you is a med hypo. Pick it up, and then press Tab to go into Use Mode. Right-clicking on the med hypo will use it and restore some needed hit points. Your hit points are displayed by a bar in the lower left corner of your screen. Many objects in your inventory can be used by right-clicking on them. See the crate in front of you? To search it, center it on your screen and right-click. If you are in use mode, simply move the pointer to the crate and right-click. To take an item from that container, simply left-click on it. One of the most important tools you have as a soldier is your PDA. This device stores audio logs, emails, and other useful information. Click on the disk icon near the bottom of your screen to bring up the PDA display. Currently, the contents of your PDA are empty. Now, pick up the audio log in front of you. This message is coming from the audio log you just picked up. You can use your PDA at any time to play any audio log or email you've received. In the field, the PDA is also used for keeping track of your current mission objectives and obtaining help information. Now it's time to learn about jumping and mantling. To jump, simply press the space bar. Some surfaces can be mantled onto by holding down the space bar. Mantling lets you pull yourself up to ledges and other high places in front of you. Give it a try. To climb a ladder, simply walk into it and look upward. You'll automatically start climbing the ladder. You've done well. Remember, if you're unclear on any aspect of what you've just learned, you can repeat the training as often as you wish. If you've completed basic training, you're ready for the advanced lessons provided here. Advanced... Here's where you make your choice, soldier. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. One... Alright, wannabe. If you want to learn the weapon skills it takes to even think about joining the Marines, come on in. We're looking for a few good men. Good to have you on board. Now we'll teach you how to handle a firearm. Pick up the pistol and the clip from the table. You can equip the weapon in one of two ways. Bring up your inventory and drag the pistol to your weapons equip slot near the right hand side of your inventory. If that's too slow for you, you can use the hotkeys on the keyboard. Press 2. If the pistol was in your inventory, it will equip for you automatically. To lock and load the ammo clip, hit the R key or hit the reload button on the lower right corner of your screen. 
Once you've loaded the firearm, take a shot at the dummy robot by pressing your left mouse button when in shoot mode. Notice how its health bar gets shorter as you chip away at it. Some items need to be charged with energy before they can be used. Pick up the laser pistol. Now use the recharging station nearby. The recharge station will juice up all of your energy-based items. Weapons, batteries, you name it. Weapons are not fine wines. They do not get better with age. The colored dot on the lower right corner of the screen tells you what kind of shape your firearm is in. Green is good, red is bad. To fight the effects of wear and tear, a soldier with maintenance skill can use a maintenance tool to improve the condition of his weapon. Just pick up the tool, open your inventory, and drag the tool onto your pistol. Remember that maintenance tools are only good for a single use. Now you're ready for the Marines. Take a look at the other training areas first before you enlist. They might just come in handy. Inside, we'll teach you the basics of some technical skills you'll need in the Navy. Welcome. You'll notice when you're in the Cyberlink booth, the object in front of you is a container of nanites. Nanites are consumed whenever you perform technical tasks such as hacking or repairing. When you pick up the container of nanites, they do not go in your general inventory, but are instead displayed in use mode on the bottom left of your screen. Walk over to the keypad by the door and try out hacking. Use the keypad by right-clicking on it. To the right of the number pad, you'll see an orange tab labeled Hack. Left-click on the tab. Text will appear indicating the difficulty of the hack and any bonuses that apply. Click on the Start button to begin hacking. You'll see a grid of nodes. Clicking on a node will either turn it bright or dark. To successfully hack, you must connect three bright nodes in a straight line. Beware the ice nodes with the red outlines. If one of these turns dark, you fail the hack, and you might break the item you're working on or worse. You can restart your hack attempt at any time by hitting the reset button, so you'll have to pay the nanite cost again. You can use nanites to buy items from replicators. To use a replicator, right-click on it, then left-click on the item you wish to purchase. The item you purchase will drop into the slot below. Make sure you pick up your purchases before you leave. Thank you for choosing Value Wrap. You learned the basics of the technical skills. There are several other technical skills you'll learn throughout the course of your career, such as repairing items and modifying weapons. The cyber interfaces for these tasks are similar to the hacking interface. Before you enlist in the Navy, try out the other training courses. They'll be useful. Inside, you will learn how to reach out with your mind. Do not let fear block your path. We've provided you with a virtual interface and the temporary ability. The red bar at the lower left of your screen tells you how many Psi points you have. Psi points symbolize the current ability to use your Psi powers. Psi hypos replenish your Psi points. Try using a Psi hypo and watch your Psi points increase. When you've reached your maximum in Psi points, move to the next station. This Psy Amp amplifies your Psy powers and lets you project them into the real world. To equip it, pick it up and then hit the tilde key. Firing the Psy Amp activates your currently selected Psy discipline. You currently have access to two disciplines, cryokinesis and kinetic redirection. Go into use mode and click on the arrows on the bottom right of the screen. 
This will cycle through your available Psi disciplines. Later, clicking on the arrows above the number to the left will allow you to select Psi disciplines from higher tiers. Use cryokinesis to destroy the robot and connect the direction to pull that Manite container towards you. Be careful! Holding down the mouse button can augment the power, but holding it down for too long will cause burnout, which will damage you. If you run out of Psi points, use another Psi Hypo. Mastery of the mind is a slow but rewarding process. Return to this area if you need more guidance. Before you enlist in the OSA, it would be useful to experiment in the other training courses. The OSA welcomes you to Orbital Station Chun Lo. Ready yourself to feel the limitations of your mind slipping away. We will guide your path over the next four years. The shuttle base at the center of the station will ferry you to your next stage of growth. When you've chosen, head into the appropriate shuttle bay. Get ready to learn things you've never imagined. The sensory deprivation tanks aboard the TOS Runang await you. A year in meditation on the nature of matter will grant you power over it. The sensory deprivation tanks aboard the TOS Chu Lun are modulated for your training. You shall spend a year in contemplation of mass, both yours and that of objects, until you can bend them to your intentions. The sensory deprivation tanks aboard... The sensory deprivation tanks aboard the TOS Shaoling await you. There you will spend a solitary year focused in a meditation on motion and sound, and how they may serve your will. The sensory deprivation tanks aboard the TOS Runang await you. A year in meditation on the nature of matter will grant you power over it. The sensory deprivation tanks aboard the TOS Chu Lun are modulated for your training. You shall spend a year in contemplation of mass, both yours and that of objects, until you can bend them to your intentions.
The sensory deprivation tanks aboard the TOS Shaoling await you. There you will spend a solitary year focused in a meditation on motion and sound, and how they may serve your will. The sensory deprivation tanks aboard the TOS Runang The sensory deprivation tanks aboard the TOS Shaoling await you. There you will spend a solitary The sensory deprivation tanks aboard the The sensory deprivation tanks aboard the TOS Chulun are modulated for your training. You shall spend a year in contemplation of mass, both yours and that of objects. The sensory deprivation tanks aboard the TOS Shaoling await you. Dr. Chandrasvalan's research labs have produced many sifting the thoughts of treachery and disloyalty from the morass of emotion and internal conflict that fill most mundanes can be disquieting. You shall spend a year building the general strength of your mind while learning how to probe the thoughts of the less capable without l Your body has been neglected in your training of your mind. On IO, you will find soldiers who Sifting the thoughts of treachery and disloyalty from the morass of emotion and internal conflict that fill most mundanes can be dis- of political terrorism and corporate coercion disturb corporate and political stability. You shall spend a year battling these chaotic elements, both psionically and by physical force. In the grand scheme, individuals are no more important Acts of political terrorism and corporate coercion disturb corporate and political stability. You shall spend a year battling these chaotic elements, both psionically and by physical force. In the grand scheme, individuals are no more important than pieces on a... Many threats to security can only be defeated from inside. Your mind shall be carefully blanked and conditioned with the nature and past of a criminal. Join with the criminal and rebellious, endure their squalor and chaos, and then, when it is time, liquidate them from within. Many threats to security can only be defeated from inside. Your mind shall be careful.
stabilizing memory strings. Restoring patient memory. Restoring memory. Restoring memory. <laughs> Steady yourself, soldier. This is Dr. Janice Polito of the computer ops staff of the Von Braun. You're safe for the time being. You're recovering from the effects of surgery and will be unable to remember any of the events of the last few weeks. You're on board the starship Von Braun and something's gone very, very wrong. Some kind of force has hijacked this ship. That's why you volunteered to be implanted with some experimental cybernetic implants. Rely on your cyber interface. It just might save your life. You must find an elevator and come up to Deck 4 to meet me. Deck 4. Can you remember that? But keep your eyes open. They're after us both now. Watch out. I'm getting strange readings from that radar dish outside the window. It's become unstable, dude. Move! Take cover! Critical decompression hazard in the cryo recovery suite. immediately to cryo recovery B. Decompression event imminent. This power cell is dead. There should be a recharger nearby. Just use it and it will recharge all the power driven devices in your possession. After you've recharged the cell, plug it into the auxiliary power unit. Good. You've managed to get out before the whole area depressurized. I've just uploaded you some cybernetic modules. 
You can use them to upgrade your cybernetic rig at the upgrade units in this area. There are four types of units in the next room. One for each subsystem of your cybernetic gear. Stats, psi, weapons, and tech. But use the modules carefully. They're hard to come by. Somebody let me out. I can't find my card. Please, let me out of here.
change the access codes out of Cryo A again. Hey Doc, a security bot showed up with orders for me to place this grunt into the recovery freezer. I'm no cyber doc, but I know a plant job when I see one. I suppose you know they outlawed our grade cyber goodies after that fiasco back on Citadel Station. But hey, I just work here, right? Somebody 
he's hacked into this thing again. I'm gonna tell Della Cry. Make your selection.
Security access compromised. Security access compromised.
Access needed. I got called up around 0430 to help unload the shuttle coming back from Tau City. Kerenskin was there alone. Jesus, what the hell happened to him? He lost most of his hair, and you could see these lumps. Ever since we reached Tau City, the lab monkeys have been acting strangely. Nurse Lesser picked one out of a cage to be brought in for vivisection, and the rest of them, I mean the entire group, stood up on their legs and howled. This wasn't just a random display. It was a protest. Missions should have been scrapped before it left Earth. We've been unable to contain the reactant coolant leaks on Deck 1. I've put an order requiring hazard suits down there. I know you think this is what cause a panic, but it's better than giving everybody radiation sickness, don't you think? a chemical storeroom where you can find the resources you need to research the artifacts you'll find around the ship. Don't try to carry around all the chemicals at once. It's impractical and unnecessary. Your research software will tell you what chemicals it needs and when.
This is Xerxes. Remember, the unauthorized usage of firearms on the Von Kroll is a class 3 infraction.
Savage has also taken out access to this bulkhead. It's the only way to get to the medical subsection. Pick up the battery from the floor and find a recharger. The one you used before is in hard vacuum now, I'm afraid, but there should be another one on this deck. Once you get the battery recharged, place it in the auxiliary override. Security system online. 